Go eat day. Clean up his work area. Go diesel. What's up? and put it pretty fast on there. <laughs> and everybody be back looking here. Yeah, that, that Mississippi abortion on there. Mississippi abortion. Okay. Right. 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 We're leaning up against their so They don't fuck it up. We need that. That was luck, though. Burp, burp, burp. What do you what do you eat for lunch? Ah. Ready to go home. No. <laughs> you just got back from home. Yeah, but I'm done. You have a turkey sandwich. Uh, tuna on toast. That's your, is that your second favorite? Tuna on toast. White albacore. Ex extra mayonnaise. You put pickles in there, onions. Want a good Italian bread? That's all I eat is the albacore. I don't like regular tuna. No, I don't eat it. That albacore, it fills you up. It's like a meal. migrate through here. This is North Africa, Baltimore. And about 20 camps give birth. That's all the afterbirth of 50 wildebeest. And me and Kevin picking fly shit out of pepper. So we're picking the fucking metal out of there. We're gonna take the debris out. Then we're gonna mop up all the blood and the guts and everything else that come out of the womb with this fucking goddamn monster. Find me the ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of them. Both of them motherfuckers. Will the be? They had motherfuckers in Cleveland let <laughs> Cleveland Junior High School yesterday during school hours had four teenagers with masks and guns and guns and they, the assistant principal I think let a couple of them in the building and the police were outside that don't let these kids in the fucking building. So, right then and there, all the principals and assistant principals, 240-some students, they got to be trained about fucking crime. You, you see anything like that, you lock that school down immediately. You don't have the doors open, you have nobody open, you don't let nobody in. I don't care if it's a priest. Anything that looks suspicious, lock it down, call the school officer, or call the police. And, and, and you went online, it was like 240 replies. What is somebody like that doing in charge of our children, man? 240 children, an idiot like that, want to let these kids in? 
Well, they might they might go to school here. I don't give a fuck. They can fucking post them in there. They got a mask on and a firearm. You don't come in school. They let them in the school. Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. Thank you, Cleveland. If I had my youngins, that'd be a hard choice. I'd either private school like a John Carroll with cost of fortune or homeschool. So that's where I'd be with that. Because these eggheads they have anymore, people just got shit for brains. Put that thing away. People got shit for brains. All right, another one for you. Do you remember when you lost your virginity? Oh. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, might have been with the girl next door. Old Chrissy, little blonde here. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, every time I've seen her, I had sex with her after that for about 10 years. She went in the Air Force, she come out of good looking little blonde. But she was always oh, wanted to take her clothes off in front of us guys. That's nice. She, yeah. <laughs> One of them days, she was a dirty girl. Some of the guys would stay, some of the guys would run. I was, Guy stayed there, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're taking them all. But she didn't, she wasn't a run around girl. You know? But she was just showing you what she got. All women are different. All women are different. Yeah. Do you think. I don't know how to word that one. Working is easier to deal with or deal with a woman. Yeah. Women, women are immense contemplators. They'll sit and think at a table all day long of what they could do to somebody. Some of them they want to mess a guy up. And they'll think of how to get by. They're, they're connivers. They're manipulators. Most men aren't. Most men, I can, there might be some, but most women are. Don't, don't think of how to mess with you during the day. I think about shoveling this shit up. I think about fabricating the next piece. I think about what the old lady's gonna have for dinner. That's a man, I'm a typical man. Yeah, you know, you know, that's what I think about. Not how I'm gonna screw some guy over. You know, I got his kids, I'm gonna make way from home, I'm trying to get child support from them. I ain't seen them in eight years. I'm a crackhead, but I might be able to get money for them kids. Women think about that. For the most part, guys don't. We're too fucking busy. I've been busy my whole life. I got time to think about how I'm going to screw somebody else. That's a big difference between a man and a woman. We're not like that. Especially if you're a good crackhead like us. You're good. You're, you're going to be busy all your whole life. Hey. You tell, know what I mean, Steve? From tell, buzzer to buzzer. We're busy, man. Tell Steve about what we're doing back here. Well, don't show them my boogers. Don't show them the boogers. Oh my god. Man, it looks like, it's like Himalayas kind of there. Yeah, it, it's a tough little fit. We're going to dial it in. What's that? We're yeah, going to dial it in. I know it's there. But it works good. Yeah, it's a great vineyard. It's a little penis hanging on it. He says, I'm going to trust him. Trust him. But look, I was embarrassed. Poor me. I just look at it. Look at the fucking eight inch channel on your fucking catwalk. Look at that going in. That's why we had to pad that out. It's just for an ex actually. <laughs> He's ashamed of my boogers. <laughs> actually, we should splice that with blake's head. We're not going to do it. What about them boogers? Yeah. Jamie Well. An eight inch channel. Jamie Well. Can you? Yeah. I'll move it. You know better. He does know better. He's my young rebellious son. He's the middle son. <laughs> He's the hard one. <laughs> but no, as long as that piece up there, right here, he's got the little tube, they slide right down in there. And that gives us access to work on that can step that over. Especially when you're doing a repair like we just did, intense repair. What about that one over there? We're going to have to have them, huh? 
That's got to be fixed. This piece right here, I got to get this up and out of the way. And clean that up a little bit. Now, Jason, not Jason, Justin cut me a bunch of three-inch angles. I was going to throw in that one basket. I'm going to cut them two by now and put three by in there. But, you know, they got 24, 24, 36, 48. I'm going to put them every 18 inches. And then here, watch your head. And this is mentioned in the corner. I set that in there for Steve, but I'm going to look at that. It's just a little design, Steve. That's all. Find a place to put that down here. 
might make a nice fright, we're just hanging with them. But you'll use them, Joe. You will use them. Hey, when you retire, it's just going to be him and Sparky back here. That, that, that'll be good. You'll be all right with Sparky. Sparky. Sparky don't have an extra high gear, though. Sparky don't have a high gear. He's got that California dream of winning one. I asked him if he was from California. He said no. He drove from San Diego. He might be from Mexico. <laughs> I don't know where he's from. He says he's from Columbia, Maryland. <laughs> Could be. He drove from San Diego over to here. That's why I thought he was a California dude. Yeah, like California tag. But he could be from anywhere. We'll go with California. We'll go with California. He's from AMG now. Subaru Sparky. Him and Roger. They'll be here a while. Subaru Sparky. They look like keepers. Rod. Yeah. Rod, he, Rod he'll be here. Hey, listen, Overly. Nice and close. Ain't, ain't a job that's killing them. You know? You ain't, you ain't killing the old man. Saturday, they were working on the press. I climbed up on the hall and I got him with a tape measure. Tapped him on the shoulder. Ah. <laughs> He's really, really easy to start with. Is he? He's real skittish with Roger. Well, I wonder why. He wasn't before. He touched something up when we were working on electric on the crane. And he touched something. He's like, ah! Shot. He's not real comfortable in the air. He's more of a pipe guy. Eight foot ladder, that's it. <laughs> He's not really somebody you want up in the air. I don't want nobody in the air getting fucking skinny and playing with you. I don't like nobody up there flipping out on me when I'm in the fucking air. Let's fucking take it easy. Everything's fucking fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. That's the way to get fucking hurt. I'm gonna go grab my hoodie and gloves.